Ned, Susan Sunnelmaker, here in the parking lot of uh, Rochester Institute of Technology. We are here with Iowa State Universities in the American Solar Challenge 2012. Um, we'll start with Tyler. Yes. Okay. Hi. Tell us something about your team and uh, what, what all of you, I'm going to go down the row and ask each of you what's the most important learning experience from this. Uh, the most important learning experience for me is the correlation between classwork and then hands-on uh, actually building. So take what we learn from the classroom and actually apply it in the real world. Okay. And how many? How many? How long did it take you in terms of uh, this number of hours of work, or uh, and how many years has Iowa State been University been doing this? Uh, I'm pretty sure Iowa State's been doing this for a little over 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. um, we do this in our spare time, so on the weekends, after class, during the day. Um, for us, it's a two-year project cycle, so our first year we design the car, and then the second year we build the car. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to go down. Is it Corey? Yes. Okay. Tell us something. Uh, Tell us biggest thing that I've learned is communication, not only with uh, other team members, but also with uh, industry. Since we have to build the car, a lot of this is beyond our capability of making, so we have to contact manufacturers for machining our parts and also distributors and suppliers for buying all these other pieces we need for the vehicle so it works out well for professional communication also uh, just interpersonal communication between people to work together. Were the industry very responsive to your needs? Yes they are. If uh, Depending on how we approach them since we're a 501c3 we can say we're nonprofit. we'll give them some free advertising and uh, they're tax deductible donations to us so that helps out quite a bit. Okay great well here's some plug is it Delta, Autodesk and uh, what are some of the other companies you yep. can think of? Uh, Harlow Aero Structures is in Wichita. They help us with the machine molds for it. Uh, Perfecta, like you said before, they made our wheels for the car. And uh, Delta Airlines, Snap-on, they gave us all of our tools for working on the actual car itself. So, Very good. Well, we actually also see we have two female. Uh, is that, uh, you only have two female members or do you have more female members? We have members? more coming. Uh, tomorrow we have two more. Two more, yes. Two more girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is this your first year participating in the team? Yes, it is. What, what's your learning experience? Your name also. Oh, okay. um, I'm Abby. I'm actually in the College of Liberal Arts and Science, so I've been helping out with the business side of the team. And one of the things that is, I think, most important is teamwork. We have a lot of people from a lot of different majors and different types of engineering coming together to create a project. So you have to have good teamwork and being able to communicate with each other so you can actually make a car that works rather than just a car that has really good electrical side or a really good uh, mechanical side. You need all the parts to come together. Very good. So that's a really good learning experience, isn't it? And you are? I'm Mariah. Um, like Abby, I am not actually an engineer. I am in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. So while I'm used to studying about corn, it's really nice to be able to come to the solar car garage and be able to learn all these mechanical things. Like, uh, working on the team, I have learned how to install fairings, I know how to seat a tire. It's just uh, being able to broaden my horizons has really been very fun, and that's one of the things I enjoy most about this team. Oh, very good. Well, thank you. And also, we have here uh, Andrew, right? Yes. Um, the most important thing that I've taken away from this is just, like, the whole engineering perspective, I guess. Like, when you're in class, you don't really see how an entire project would comprise like different engineering fields and different people and then what is required of me as an engineer in a project like that. So that's kind of a really cool insight that you take away from this project. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is Susan Sunnelmaker with SunnelsFuture.net signing off at uh, July 13. And this is uh, right in the parking lot of Rochester Institute of Technology with American Solar Challenge 2012. Thank you.